All right, back here in New Hampshire, fresh off of winning her second term, Governor Hassan started one of the most difficult aspects of her job, coming up with a spending plan for the state of New Hampshire. Certainly not glamorous, but it's definitely important to the economic health of the state. But the task is not easy. The budget process is time-consuming and requires difficult decisions. Calling for fiscal restraint, Governor Hassan kicks off a process that will decide state spending on everything from public safety to higher education to programs for New Hampshire's most vulnerable. And in ensuring that the burden on taxpayers in New Hampshire remains among the lowest in the nation. On Thursday, Concord budget writers heard from more than a dozen agency heads who collectively have already submitted a wish list totaling $12.7 billion. That's more than 20% higher than the last budget. And while the governor has already told them to try again, O'Brien, during a taping of Close Up this week, Republican candidates for House Speaker well, took their shots. Governor Hassan has mismanaged the budget, and as a consequence, we have a developing uh, deficit there. We just don't even know how much the deficit's going to be, so it's going to be a problem to deal with. And Senate Finance Chair Jeannie Forrester promises a conservative approach as well. We're going to do the same thing that we did in the last budget and the budget before, which is we will be the firewall. We will say we're going to have to live within our means. It is only step one of what could be a long process that could also include another debate over a casino and a chance for agency heads like Dread Commissioner Jeff Rose to state his case. It's a great opportunity to be able to talk about the great work that we do within the Department of Resources and Economic Development. We should be able to stand up before the legislature and defend and talk to them about how we're looking to utilize you know, the precious taxpayer dollars. Hearings will continue, but Governor Hassan will submit her budget proposal to the legislature in January.